Prince Harry and Meghan are to give their first interview since stepping back from royal duties. They'll speak to Oprah Winfrey in what's been described as a wide-ranging and intimate interview due to be aired by the U.S. broadcaster CBS next month. The interview follows the news that the couple are expecting their second child. Well, let's go to the royal correspondent for Hello! magazine, Emily Nash. Welcome. Um, so the interview is already in the can, I think. Is, is anything... Think I think it's happening this week. Oh, it's happening this week. OK. So, I mean, wide ranging and intimate, 90 minutes. Um, it gives us a, a flavour of what's likely to come. It's going to be box office stuff, I would imagine, for anyone who's interested in the royal family and particularly for their, you know, huge global fan base. Harry and Meghan have had to uh, stay fairly quiet over the past year, as most of us have because of the pandemic. And this is their first opportunity to... Uh, really talk about what's happened, uh, their decision to leave the royal family, and it's going to air a day before the anniversary of their last major outing with members of the royal family. So it's going to be one to watch. Are there any constraints on what they can say? Because obviously there was the behind doors discussions around their future role, what the agreements were. We know that they don't take money from the, the public purse anymore. But have they been... So are they beholden to, to secrecy on, on any issues around what, what the, the terms of the agreement? Look, it's been made very clear by, um, by people uh, within the palace that it is down to them to, to take on these opportunities. They are no longer working members of the royal family. There is nothing to stop them um, going out and, and talking about these things. But, you know, they do still have a lot of respect for the family, for the Queen in particular. I know Harry still remains very close to his grandmother. They are not going to go out there and um, and be critical unnecessarily. I think we can probably expect to hear um, some criticism of sections of the media. That's not going to be new to anyone who's followed their story. Um, but I think there are ways of them talking about their recent experiences, um, you know, and more importantly, where they go from here. I think this is a real opportunity for them to set out their store. Mm -hmm. They have a new charity. They have a new baby on the way. Um, I think they're feeling optimistic and, you know, this is a new start in many ways. Do they have to tread a careful line between their desire to protect their privacy and also going out there and doing stuff that obviously is going to attract an enormous audience? Absolutely. Um, obviously, there was the big uh, privacy judgment last week. And in many ways, perhaps they were waiting for, for that to be resolved before they went forward with this next step. Um, I understand it's been in the planning for some time. Um, so, yes, they do have to be careful, but it's very much about them having control. They're doing it with Oprah, who they have a long-standing relationship with. She's a neighbour. She's a friend. She was at their wedding. She's obviously, you know, a media queen. And they must have a great deal of trust that they can talk to her and open up in the way that they want to, uh, rather than, you know, being subjected perhaps to a harder news reporter interview. Well, we, uh, it's going to be recorded, you think, later this week, and obviously we'll, um, we'll get sight of it whenever it's released. Emily Nash, thank you very much.